one of the problems we encounter not always but often in uh, beetle breeding is uh, that the mites uh, cover the body of larvae and we want to get rid of these mites because we think they can harm the larvae if there are too many of these mites and I think also that it's too and it's better to see how we can arrange the substrate or how we can clean uh, the larvae before bringing in a new substrate so that they don't carry so many uh, mites with them and uh, for that I have arranged a little experiment that I want to start uh, today and for that I want to show you first a clean larva uh, of Coriatus that is not infested with uh, mites. If we look here under the under this microscopic lens you don't see any uh, mites, not on the spiracles that are these little points here and also not on the upper side of the body it looks quite clean I uh, have to see whether we can arrange it a little better with the light yeah you see the clean um, a body of the of the larva with no signs of mites on it and if you compare this with a larva that is infested with a lot of mites it's this one here I want to show it to you voila here uh, you might see the difference um, Not only it has a lot of this uh, pink, a little, this sounds a little pink, it looks a little pink, like a dust on the, also this here on the spiracles, you see it's like a little dust on the spiracles. These are microscopic little mites that cover the body of the larva compared to this one that is clean, it has no, not, none of this dust shaped uh, mites on the body. So if you want to get rid of this, we just put it in one of the test boxes here. That's one of the also on the on the on the back side of the lava you can see this dust like little mites. And also if you look at this clean one you don't see that with this larva. So I hope that you see the difference especially here with the, the, this pink dust like mites that are not seen on the other larva here so we put this larva in a box and these are the clean ones we put them to the side of which we just check it with the other larva here too so now we have another one here might sometimes difficult to take them out of the substrate so wait here okay now let's see whether this larva is has mites on the body or not what you think is it covered with mites or not compared to the other one i think it's very clear you you hardly see the spiracles here they are completely covered with mites and here on this larva you can see there are absolutely no mites so this is also a test candidate in the box number two and we need some more because i want to show you um, different things that we can do but just to be sure that we really have larvae that are infested with mites I want to show it to you here very clearly also this one it's not so bad with mites here uh, but there are some especially here around on the body you can see a little bit of this also we put this in this box too uh, we have more items. In total, I have six larvae that I think they are <coughs> infested a lot with with mites. Also here, especially here on the back, you see these patches of pinkish dust. These are mites on the body of the larva. And now we have already four waiting in these boxes for their anti-mite treatment. We need two more. This is also a candidate because it's also covered with a lot of mites compared with the clean colleague here. Also this one we put in a box. Now we need one more. Just to see here's another one. Now I hope that you can see the difference uh, between the, the between the infested and the not infested lorry. Also here it's very clear this dust like powdery pinkish powdery 
thing also on the body and on the spiracles. The spiracles they don't they, they seem um, to be not that black as in a not infested larvae like here you see that's the difference. So we have now these are all L2 larvae of Gordiatos. So what I have um, as a treatment I just to show you I show you three different things. One is just um, sieved white rotten wood. It has no um, water in it. It's just dry and we just make it put it into two boxes here. This is with just sawdust. The other one is the normal substrate from the box and we want to put only a little bit of it in so it can dry and we will see what happens here if it's drying a little bit it's up the normal substrate they live in but we don't cover them completely so just that they can just can like this and the third one I just put in some leaves from from beech and oak and that's all just some leaves like this and these are dried leaves and re relatively fresh they are not rotten it's uh, fresh leaves from beech and oak and that's the experiment so I have to I will close the box now for uh, five to six days and then I will go back and check it and in that time the larvae still they are staying in the box it's not that um, they will starve during that time um, that's not a problem for a larvae that they starve so fast and also they won't um, lose that much humidity that they die in the substrate but I'm interested what do you guess which box has the cleanest larvae afterwards what do you think the one with this is the one with wood here uh, the box is with the normal substrate a little bit wet or the box is with the substrates with the leaves that's it we will see in five days come back to see subscribe to the channel enjoy breeding beetles and fortune